Well, we're back. We're back. I don't know if we were really gone in any meaningful sense, but we're back. That's just something you say when you start a vid. And oh, yeah, not, definitely. And you're, and you're not good at making vids or commentary <laughs> or anything, and you just fail at life. Anyway, mm -hmm. this is Trials in Tainted Space, made by Phenoxo, the maker of uh, Corruption of Champions. Anyone who's ever played, uh, like, the Warhammer games, there's Warhammer Fantasy, and then there's Warhammer 40K that's in the future. It's the same shit, right? This is uh, Corruption of Champions 40,000. That's basically what this is. And I'm joined by uh, two of our friends from uh, Untitled Studios. We have Class Holes. So. And Niche Brown. Hello. Okay, so let's uh, jump right in. Go to... Uh, do, I have a, do I have, like, a file here? Uh, uh, delete... Save data, yeah. Oscar, <laughs> I'll just delete this guy. Uh, delete, yeah, and he's gone forever. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, that was just a test, so I could see the controls and stuff. So we would. If just only it were that easy in real life. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so new game. Uh, oh my god, I forgot about the reading in these games. Victor Steele is one of the richest. That sounds like. <laughs> Victor Steele sounds like uh, someone from an Ayn Rand novel. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a porn name to me. Well, what is it? Uh, the the girl in uh, Fifty Shades, her name is Steele, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Would not know that. I would just assume yeah. that both of you would know totally, that. Totally yeah, wouldn't know that at all. It's something something Steele. <sighs> Nobody reads anymore. <laughs> Victor Steele is one of the richest men in the galaxy. His fortune was gained through adventuring about 200 years ago. Trillions of credits. The steel tech company Vic, underwent his journeys. Wreaked havoc on his genome. Uh, now he's looking toward finding a successor. Okay. Uh, okay. An heir or heiress to carry on his legacy to make sure the steel name is honored throughout all of history. Uh, they could come up richer and more powerful than he ever was, and perhaps a better person as well. The real question is, who should that lucky mother be? A lifelong accumulation of lovers has resulted in no shortage of potential. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, should he choose a pure human like himself, or perhaps a dog like Osar, famed for their loyal and friendly dispositions, fluffy tails, and pointed ears? Or blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we're choosing our race. I'm going to say pure human Aryan. Okay. Definitely. Let's just take a quick look at the options. Uh, we have a dog-like, uh, <coughs> feline, and uh, reptilian. But we're going to go human. Sure, each one has its own tiny perk. Sometime. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh, you got to confirm everything. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to call uh, him uh, Space Mullet. And he's the, the great, 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 great grandson of, of Mullet. The hero of, of uh, the, the original. The demon realm. Yeah, hero of the demon realm. The hero of Kavach, I mean the demon realm. <laughs> and okay. also definitely male. Yeah, let's Jesus. go. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's not be silly. I wasn't aware we were going to have to decide that. Yeah. Oh, did, haven't you watched any of our COC? Oh yeah. Watch oh yeah. You Watch a couple everything. episodes. Highly customizable. <laughs> Highly oh, customizable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, our height in inches. Uh, is, there a, is there a limit? I don't know. Being tiny would be fun. Yeah, I think so. I think like one, two inches. Two inches. Now I'd say more like ten or twelve. She was a height above 48, 48 inches. <laughs> no midgets, please. Well, let's see what the upper limit is. <laughs> okay, so between... Uh, okay, so let's, that's go with, between... let's go with 84. Let's I go with max, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, what, 7 feet tall, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, about that, like 7 foot 4? 6? No, no, 72 oh. is... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, 72 is 6 feet. Never mind. Jesus. I'm... Very good at math, I promise. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, you guys uh, remember the Dilbert, uh, the fucking Dilbert comic? Yeah. 
uh, let me see if I I'll show you this really quick. Um, the Dilbert <laughs> wage gap. Oh, uh, I've seen that. Have you seen it? This is hilarious. Because uh, everybody's talking about the wage gap. And it's, uh, this article says men are paid 25% more than women. How do you explain that? Actually, it says women make 75 cents for every dollar that, that men make. That's 33% more for men. And I suppose there's almost no chance you'll praise me for my math skills right about now. <laughs> Uh, marking his pad, each other. Uh, how thick set? This is basically like the beginning of Fallout 3, where you're like living your infancy and all the testing and character determination. So, uh, what uh, what kind of build for our 84 inch tall person? Ooh, um, let's go with uh, like average American size yeah, thick set. Normal or husky? Well, average American. He's probably making a fat joke. Yeah. Yeah. And you just shit all over it. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I, I, husky. That, that's a good compromise. Husky, okay. All right. Uh, hair color. Blonde. Easily blonde. Dirty or regular? Regular. Oh, Christ. Definitely regular. Blue. Blue, oh, of course, yeah. Uh, skin <laughs> Pale? <laughs> yeah, pale. Okay. As white as God intended. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Rubs, rubs the bridge of his nose in exasperation. Uh, all the Aryan references made me think of uh, this one shock account on Twitter. Uh, it's called, uh, and you guys should check it out, it's called Leviath, at Leviathan Pride. And then, like, follow him, and then follow all the people who are, like, he's followed, because it's just, like, the worst, most nasty shock accounts on Twitter, and they're hilarious. Like, I just, I downloaded an entire archive of his stuff, because I was enjoying it so much. And one of his things was, if I had a time machine, I would definitely go back in time and kill Hitler. With kisses! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, the doctor rubs his, the bridge of his nose in exasperation. Uh, we both know you're a sexual deviant. How do I know you don't want your kid to grow up in the universe into the universe's hottest trans? Just pick flat if you don't want them. Now, this guy's bedside manner leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mr. Schwartz, I know you're a sexual deviant. Here's your chart. <laughs> uh, okay. I, think, I think maybe like an A cup. That's good enough. Uh, what about the penis? I mean, is this... Do we, the, <laughs> you're going to make a kid... <laughs> can you imagine? It's like, okay, uh, if why only everybody... E the last line he has to recite it, like, why do I even ask? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how, about, how about four inches? I think it's what's in the mind that matters. Okay, four inches. Okay, blah, blah. Here's, uh, this is basically the perk. <laughs> Oh boy. Any ideas? Uh, fertility. I vote fertility. Okay. Elasticity might be fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so they, they separated the, uh, the combat relevant and the uh, sex relevant perks because I think that is kind of a weird... I, I think we made a joke about that the first... COC is like they had a big cock option and I said well does anybody choose willpower or whatever <laughs> so what's our uh, what's our combat I guess oriented mm. stat hmm hmm uh aim aim yeah Space Mullet was born without complications, but now Victor is faced with a new quandary. Just how is he going to raise him? Blah, blah, blah. Pampered, athletic, bookworm, austere, balance. Mm. Athletic. Like, mm. like a class choice or something? Yeah, let's go with athletic. Athletic? Okay. Uh, what kind of person will you be? Hard. 24-7. <laughs> 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 you're all grown up and you're finished with your schooling dad pushed you hard which makes sense he's accomplished a lot 
I, whenever I do, whenever I do uh, COC or this game, I turn into that one uh, lawyer from Harvey Birdman. You guys ever watch that Harvey Birdman Attorney of Law? No. no. Oh, dude! Everybody who hasn't watched that, you need to go like get watch every episode in one sitting. That show is amazing. It is a work of art. I was ho- like when they when I first heard the buzz about that movie Birdman that was you know winning all those awards. Mm-hmm. I was so disappointed when I found out it wasn't an adaptation of Harvey Birdman, Attorney of Law. I've heard of it. I've oh, never dude, it's, watched it's, it. it's one of the best things Adult Swim has ever come up with. Yeah, I like Adult Swim. I think I'll give it a I'll give it a watch. I'm gonna go. You know, I'm gonna go back and watch it all. Like after I'm done with this, I'm just making a note right here. That show is fucking hilarious, and now there's all those inside jokes that you guys won't get. Anyway, but there's this one lawyer, and he's also a Birdman, and uh, he, he'll be addressing the uh, the court, and he's like, As you can see, and everybody's leaning forward like, what the fuck? It, anyway, yeah, that's who I'm... Anyway, so that was a huge waste of time. Uh, okay, what's our job? Smuggler, mercenary, or tech specialist? I think uh, just due to the uh, the fact that we want some uh, experience with ass play, smuggler. Smuggler. Uh, your abilities rely on having. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Would you like to uh, story and tutorial or skip to gameplay? Skip. Okay. Uh, what do you do with Celise? Ignore her or take you on her on your crew? She's like a beginning NPC. She's made of slime. Better than nothing. Yeah. What? Can we like dump her at any at any time when something I, better comes along? I don't think she takes up like a oh, okay. slot. All right. Yeah. Then why not? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> what gender is your rival? Huh. This is female. Uh, they keep adding. Okay, female. Yeah, because we hate them. <laughs> Uh, when you rise, the codex beeps and says, uh, message received. Uh, da, 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 your cousin's voice. Good morning, sleepyhead. I just want you to know that I left... Na, 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 na. Sleeping quarters for ten, after all. Uh, okay, so it looks like there are ten slots, but ten it should be enough. And we can always... I don't know. I'm sure there's a mechanic to fire or murder people or whatever. Okay, so ship acquired. Castex Z14. Okay, so uh, as you can see over here is our various stats. Aim is our top one, uh, and then beyond that, we're we're basically a fighter more than a quote unquote mage, which is probably based on technology here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, <laughs> so over here is the map on the left. There's our ship in the dock, and then there's stairs that leads to uh, the rest of Tavros Station. So. A sprawling, brightly lit hangar greets your eyes, empty save for a single ship near the back. Your gaze is pulled away from the distant craft by the sheer size of the enclosure. Um, perhaps the only thing this place couldn't hold would be a capital ship, but a number of moorings with connective umbilicals stand by to tether one outside in that extreme scenario. You spot a bland, half ossar technician standing next to your ship, looking down at the data pad. Oh, the, the half-dog person made me think of uh, something else. If you guys... If you guys like the Leviathan Pride tweets and you're feeling brave, uh, search on Twitter for hashtag Kraus flashcards. I've read some of Kraus's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> flashcards. <laughs> yeah, oh, the flashcards are great. So you can teach your kids? <laughs> yeah, it has, it has one for every letter of the alphabet to help them remember. <laughs> Brace yourself. <laughs> Oh boy. Anyway, okay, so uh, here's our options. We can go. Uh, the the purple ones are to move around, and they have hotkeys, so it's like uh, W A S D, uh, which is this is this is actually great. I think that I think C O C might have had hotkeys, and I just never learned them, or maybe it didn't. I, I never found any. Yeah, I I think that's a false memory. I don't think it did. And then you got a cool codex. So this is a this is a pretty slick interface compared to what we were used to, and uh, maybe it's about the same. I don't know. So, what do you guys want to do? I'm gonna put. Uh, see, uh, this is uh, this, this character is uh, Sarah Han's, uh, you know, descendant, right? So what? You, you don't have to feel 
any kind of uh, like what what's happening to them isn't happening to any of the three of us. But we're gonna be I'm gonna put I'm gonna put class primarily in the driver's seat. But uh, yeah. oh god. Ne- ne- See, the problem is, like, I research these games so that, so that the recording session will go smoothly, and we're not just blundering with basic controls. But then I end up knowing too much about the game, which kind of spoils it, okay? Yeah. So someone else has to be in the driver's seat for it to be uh, fun to, to watch, okay? But but Niche, uh, I, I don't know if you guys ever watched uh, Star Trek. Uh, it's like you and uh, you and Class are like two bodies in one brain. You're like the symbiote. So. All right. All right, so what do you guys want to do? Uh, eh. so can we just like does west mean just head west head west would take us to the uh we're, we're in the dock this would take us to the right. stairs to the rest of the station entering the right. ship would probably prompt us to leave all right uh, yeah you, you, don't, you don't have to leave but you'd, you'd have the ability to take off assuming we right. have like fuel let's, and shit let, let's do that what? i say Get i the don't ship. enter the ship yeah. yeah all right let's go on the ship uh, okay, inside of your father's old Castex Z14 is in remarkable, good, remar- uh, remarkably great shape for such an old ship. The mechanics that are working on this really ought to be proud of themselves. Three bunks are scattered around the cramped interior, providing barely adequate room for you and your crew. And, uh, okay, you have inventory, uh, sleep, storage, exit, crew, fly, codex. Hmm. Uh, let's go, let's go so with, uh, fly. yeah, let's, to, let's just fly. take off. Okay. Uh, where do you want to go? Okay. So the Tom only versus... place you'll let us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you guys remember, uh, watching, uh, Sarah Han in the mountains and the, and the, planes. Oh, yeah. the, these are probably like, uh, you know, mountain planet and plain planet. Yep. So, uh, it's probably for the best. So let's go to Manga. Uh, you fly to Manga and step out of your ship. Okay. Through a dubbed, uh, though dubbed a hangar, this suspended platform is little more than an exposed landing pad. It's a hexagonal steel crete plate, one of a dozen, one of one of dozens that ring the central elevator spire. Uh, waiting, an elevator door hangs open to the south, waiting for you to press the button that will take you back to the ground while your ship remains parked here, ready to be entered. Okay. Ready. Let's go down. Let's go down. Mas- oh. I, oh, thought, yeah, I, should... I thought we could get off a quick uh, jerk before we go yeah, down. It's good to... Wow. Just being in space makes you horny? Uh, oh, it's in public. I thought we were still basically in the ship. Let's go to the ship. Well, at least we know this game has some morals. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do that in public, buddy. <laughs> okay, Sorry. this is interesting. And I like this. I like randomness hmm. in the game. You can either just jerk off conventionally or just masturbate with a butt in your fang- <laughs> uh, finger in your butt. Let's just do conventional really quick. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we don't need to read all this. <laughs> I feel Next like time we we're gonna hit random. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise me, hand. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'd be interesting. We, we could we could have uh, because like normally I just let Sarah Hanna make all the decisions, but I don't want Niche to be the odd man out. We could do a kind of thing like. Uh, one of you has control of certain parts of the body, and then the other has control of the other. <laughs> yeah, that way everybody feels included, and it's a true multiplayer game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's. Okay, got the lust down because, as you guys know, you don't want to walk around with too high lust. It's dangerous. Nope. Uh, so let's exit and go down to the planet surface. A uh, standard self-assembly and cargo elevator towers overhead, connecting to dozens of landing pads covered with brilliantly flashing lights. Uh, fences and the wall of a building to the east keep you penned in this area, but a doorway marked Customs to the east could be entered if you wish to explore. So over here you see now we have more map tiles, uh-huh. and we're at the stairs. So, guys Let, Let's go east. Okay. Gel Woman is here. Uh, the office is one of many set up around space for us. Uh, to the south is out to Esbeth. Some kind of amber gel-like material in the shape of a woman is sitting behind the desk, fiddling with paperwork. Uh, hi there, I just need you to fill out some paperwork about your business on the planet. Oh, great. Uh, Flan is her name. Uh, UGC contact here in Esbeth. It's a thankless job, and apparently she can't stop complaining about it. Um, uh, wow, really can't stop. Yeah. 
and she only gets paid 78 cents compared to the other uh, the male <laughs> shell people. <laughs>